Hey, what's up? This is Vendor Satanus. Uh, just checking in, making another little video. Um, I've been doing the uh, Game Hole Con. Uh, it's a specific, specifically geared towards tabletop role playing games. Um, this is their first convention put on by some cool people. In my neck of the woods in Madison, Wisconsin. I live just outside of Madison, Wisconsin. I work in Madison. Um, so it's cool that this just kind of happened around me. Um, and I volunteered to Game Master um, my module, Liberation of the Demon Slayer, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, how I arranged it is... Um, Friday would be part one, Saturday would be part one, and then Sunday would be part two. And um, the people that wanted to continue the the adventure from the, you know, if they were in one of the first two groups on Friday or Saturday, could also sign up for Sunday and play there too. I don't know what Sunday's going to be like. I had heard that. Uh, I don't know. I'd heard mixed things. Um, I get there on Friday. And there's only one person there um, to play. So we played for a while, not the whole time, but um, we got uh, you know, a good three hours in to the game. Um, he made like three, I think he had four characters. He ended up losing, I think, two by the end of the, the session. Or when we had just decided to stop playing because we had gotten far enough. Um, he also signed up for Sunday, so... Um, and Saturday I had two pe two players. Um, even though I had been told that it was going to be a full table and many people, at least five, or if not six of six, had signed up for a Saturday night's game. I don't know what happened. There's only two people there. Uh, but we played and we had a good time. Uh, neither of those people had signed up for Sunday. So, I don't know what's going on, on today. Sun today is Sunday. Um. I've got some time, I've got about three hours before game time. So I'm still at home, chilling, making a video. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. On <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I have at least three. I don't know, if I had one on Friday, two on Saturday, maybe I'll have three today. I don't know. Or maybe I'll have eight. Um, that, that was the, the max number of people that um, could sign up for today. I don't know. Um, but it was, I mean, it was still fun. Uh, I still had a blast running it. Uh, it was just cool to see, like, my own self-published uh, module. You know, my own ideas, my own writings. Um, just there in, like, a physical... Okay, where was I? Uh, the camera just suddenly ran out of batteries. Um, yeah, it was, still, it was still cool to run the game, and I think everybody had fun. I mean, they said they had fun, so... I, believe them um you i don't think it matters if you're in a convention setting or you're playing for a long-running campaign with familiar people people you don't know it's the beginning of the campaign the end um D, &D swords and wizardry paranoia or call of cthulhu doesn't matter I think a game master always has to have a flexible frame of mind and has to realize that even though he has a script in front of him, uh, the game itself is not scripted. And thing, you know, the gameplay is fluid and you know, it's not it's not set in stone. It it changes. It's um, and no matter how many times you've run a, a particular adventure, um, it's always going to be a little bit different. Um, not only because of what the players do and how the dice affect the randomized elements of of the the session, but I think a game master owes it to himself. Uh, to keep things fresh and to not um, have the game feel monotonous to him. You know, he's got to change it up himself if only to keep himself 
you know, amused and on his, on his toes and, um, I don't know, it's more fun for the Game Master too. You know, if every, if a particular adventure run many, many times went exactly the same way every single time, I think that would be, that would get boring. Uh, no matter how exciting or awesome the module is or, or the script is, um, if you never change it up a little bit, if you never, you know, um, tweaked it a little bit here and there, uh, it would get old and uh, it would be a lot less fun for the Game Master. Um, number of players, uh, you know, the different kind of characters that people are playing, that all factors into it, um, knowing how much time you have, and if you could continue to the like a next session, or if this is going to be one shot. I mean, it all, you know. So you have to come up with those stuff in your head. Um, and I did that for this session. Um, uh, just the last night, um, we went from the first level, which is the caves, down to the third level, and. Uh, one of the guys was like, oh, hey, you know, I, I see the the girl, you know, that's enslaved and, and being tormented or whatever, or possibly sacrificed on the cover of your module. Like, are, you know, are we going to save her in this in this adventure? And then at that point, I, found, I asked, you know, are you going to be around tomorrow? Uh, or is this it for you tonight? Um, you know, are you just going to play it tonight? Or, you know, is it going to continue on for you on Sunday's game at part two? And he said that this was it for him. And same thing with the other guy. And so I thought, you know, why not just skip? I mean, they don't know. They don't have the adventure in front of them. Um, so why not just skip the fourth level and go right to the fifth level, which that's where the cover comes from. You know, it's got the Cthulhu priesthood, and uh, it's got women and damsels in distress, women in peril, you know, um potential sacrificial victims or whipping girls and stuff like that. Um, you know, torture. Uh, all that good stuff. Uh, so I'm like, why not just, uh, yeah, skip the fourth level, skip the sixth level, um, you know, have it end on the fifth level, just take out the stairs on the fifth level and cross out the fourth level, you know, done and done. And, um, and we ended at a great time. They got to interact with the and take out the, the Cthulhu priesthood, and uh, um, have a sense of finality uh, of closure because that was the end. As far as they were concerned, their play, the players, the characters, um, that was the end of the adventure, and that was the end of the dungeon. And then they went back up with Calthalax the demon slaying sword and uh, gave it back to the, the town of Clear Meadows and enough to so they could ward off and, and repel the the demon horde spawn from the stars. So yeah. Anyway, this big ramble was about keep it flexible um, and uh, nothing is set in stone. Uh, feel free to tweak things you know, all the way along. Um, not only little things like what's in a room or what's this monster's, you know, AC or weaknesses or special attacks, but uh, just rules. I mean, if if you feel like doing magic one way um, for a group, I mean, you probably don't want to, ch if it's a long-running campaign, you probably don't want to switch from week to week to week. But if you're playing for new players or game, game mastering for new players, why not uh, just do... You know, change it up. You know, magic works one way, and then, you know, for another group, maybe it works a different way. Um, it'll bring a different experience, and uh, try things out. Maybe you'll like something better, since you're experimenting. And if you love it that way, keep doing it. If, if not, then keep changing it. If a player has a certain expectation, and he's really, like, dead set on that, um, sometimes you might want to go with with what the player is more familiar with and what he likes. Um, sometimes you want to challenge that and you want to bring something in that he's never seen before or, or a game mechanic that he's never experienced. It just depends.
All right, I'm going to put this on the internet, and uh, we'll see. Hopefully you like it. Um, subscribe if you want. I don't make that many videos. Oh, I'll also put a link to my blog down there in the notes. Hopefully you check that out. Um, I got some nice blog posts in the can. Uh, I got one on um, creating and, and writing an adventure and the, the different steps um, it takes. So that's it. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu Photography.